Hey friends, Crystal Kime here. Uh, the video that you're about to see I shot a few weeks ago before all this crazy coronavirus stuff kind of happened. And I shot it and I was talking about some fear and anxiety and worry that I had been going through before all of this. And I was hesitant about putting this video out there because it's me just in my car kind of rambling and talking. Um, it, it wasn't, you know, great camera shots or that wow factor. It's just me talking and rambling. Um, but after all this stuff's been going on, I thought it would be a good topic to go ahead and put out there um, because it talks about some of the things I think many of us might be facing right now. Fear, worry, anxiety. So go ahead and take a look at it and be sure to comment below. Um, let's help each other out during this time and encourage one another. So I hope this video encourages you. Well, I've been wanting to talk about fear um, and worry. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I want to talk about that. The first being it has been something that I have been dealing with on and on for the last year. I've, I've dealt with fear and worry my whole life, but specifically in this one area. Um, some of you might remember I had some medical stuff um, last year, um, kind of about this time. I ended up having um, some anxiety and depression that set in so much so in a way where I couldn't function daily. Um, so I ended up going to my doctor and I was prescribed an antidepressant, um, which I took and things got better. Um, then while I was pregnant, I wanted to go off of the medication just to have a safe pregnancy and, and you know, be mindful of the baby and all of that. And so I tried to get off of the antidepressants and it was not good. Um, I don't know if it was because um, I had more of an imbalance being pregnant or if it was what all it was, but it was so much so that I um, was very fearful and even asked Matt to stay home one day because I just, I couldn't function. I couldn't function to be honest. I was having a hard time and I'm real hesitant in sharing this um, with such a large public audience because there'll be people that will say, well, you should have done natural ways or are you sure you need to be on that or, you know, could get a lot of criticism. But I also want to talk about it because there might be other people out there struggling with the same stuff that I'm struggling with. Um, ever since um, my first little one was born, I've had more just fear. You know, I used to live life not really... If something happened to me, you know, something happened, it wasn't a big deal. I wasn't really fearful of health things or uh, injury or I just, I wasn't worrisome, you know, about stuff. I, after high school, I went out to the uh, Los Angeles Dream Center and we would walk down Skid Row streets and there would be people uh, smoking crack pipes in front of us, drug dealers, you know, there was people that got up in my face and it never really faced me. But becoming a mom, there was something that shifted and changed it. I don't know if it was just having a kid and you know, it's more than just me, or if it was chemical, I don't know. I don't wanna to try to analyze it. But I began to have this anxiety about health. What if something did happen to me? You know, Would I be able to function and take care of my kids? And, and just this kind of fear that really set in. Um, and, and I had, I've been struggling with that and it kind of paralyzed me from doing things that before I would have not had any worry or fear about doing. But part of it was also a lack of trust um, of God, you know. I've always trusted him to take care of me, but here it was more, do I trust him to take care of my kids? Do I trust him to take care of Joshua if something were to happen to me? Or even I had fear about my own capability of taking care of Joshua and raising him right and am I doing the right things so that he's equipped with what he needs. And, and this fear just kind of became so big that I almost was paralyzed in some ways because I didn't want to do anything wrong or I didn't want to uh, mess up or it kept me from doing things for myself even. Trusting God, it's not, it's not based on how you feel, it's based on your actions. What are your actions saying? So are you trusting God financially? Are you giving your tithes, 
you may be fearful that you're not gonna have enough money for the rest of the month, but are you giving the tithe anyway? Even though you might be fearful or worried, um, that's a sign of trust. That's an act of trust, and it means that you are trusting God. That, that doesn't mean the feelings necessarily change, you know? A lot of times what people do, and I used to say this to the teens all the time, is they let their feelings be their God. And I wanna challenge you and myself not to let our feelings be our God, you know? God is our God, and we do things for Him and because of Him despite our feelings. Um, we don't do things based off of our feelings because our feelings can be, um, they, our feelings can be fickle. <laughs> <laughs> and not always accurate so anyways um, one of the things too I want to mention is um, around this fear thing is my dad most of you know this from a previous video my dad passed away from colon cancer um, when he was 45 and I was told that I needed to make sure that I, um, you know, got colonoscopy and all that stuff early on since my dad was so young. So today at the doctor's office, I was asking about that. And they're wanting to do a genetic testing to talk that determines your risk for cancer or the potential for cancer. I don't fully understand it, but that could be very fearful. Um, it could be fearful to think about the potential of having cancer or what your risk factors, factors could be. But in this moment, I don't feel fear about it because I trust God um, I've asked God to help me in this area of fear and I've surrendered it to him and um, he I've asked him to replace it with his peace his peace that you know scripture talks about passes all understanding like it would make complete sense to be fearful but I'm not you know and that's that peace that passes all understanding and I mentioned that because um, I got the impression from somebody that I spoke with this week that um, that they felt like worry and which worry is a type of fear that worry was something that you just kind of had to to deal with and yes I think worry is something that you do have to deal with but at the same time I think Christ you know and scripture says that God did not give us a spirit of fear um, I don't think it's something that we just have to oh I'm a worrier or, oh I fear that's part of my identity it's not part of your identity it's not part of who you are um, you know some people I think even those that have anxiety they're like well that's just who I am and my anxiety is part of me it's part of my identity and we let it be part of our identity but that's not what Christ says Christ says we are a new creation in him um, the old is gone and he's given us a new a newness with him and so I just want to say that if you are having fear and anxiety and worry it the, it may be a constant surrender of it but God wants to alleviate that from your life he doesn't want that to be part of your identity and I think it's very important how we think we can't think this is just who I am I'm fearful or I'm anxious or I'm a worrier we have to choose to say no that is not who I am I am a child of God and he does not give me a spirit of fear his yoke is easy his burden is light and I am going to choose to trust him and face um, choose to trust him and let my actions show that I am trusting him and I'm not going to be fearful I'm not going to let the feeling of fear or anxiety or worry keep me from serving my God and being the person that he has called me to be um, so I wanted to mention that also I think this uh, video is timely um, there's a lot going on in the world a lot of sickness and crazy stuff that can cause us to be fearful um, but God is good. The other day, I was fearing, feeling fear, fearful and worry about sickness, and I have a little one, and I don't want them to get sick or have any issues, and I just, it was after a long day of taking care of kids, I was just tired and exhausted and fatigued and emotional. I was just, you know, in tears. Well, I wasn't in tears yet, but I was just ah, anxious and just, all out of whack in a state of mind and I sat down to do my de our devotional with my son my husband was there and I was there and I opened up to read this the scripture in his little kids Bible for the night and it was the scripture in Matthew 6 where it says do not worry do not fear do not be anxious um, and it talks about the the lilies of the field how you know 
if God clothes them with these beautifulness, then how much more will he take care of us and provide for us? You know, if God takes care of the birds, how much more does he care and take care of us? And I just began to weep because in that moment, God was reminding me who he is and who I am. The who I am is the part that so many of us forget. You know, we know God is good. God is great. God is almighty. He's powerful. He will take care of us. We know that, but we forget who we are to him. We forget that we are his beloved. We are his bride. We are his children. You know, we are so precious. We are co-heirs with Christ. You know, all of those things about our identity and who we are says so much to us about why we don't need to worry or fear or be anxious. We don't need to worry because um, we are a child of God. You know, I think of the, like a child of a king, um, in you know today's terms, a child of a king doesn't need to worry. The, their dad is the king of the whole kingdom, and he has all the resources and everything that the child will ever need, and they will be taken care of and guarded and protected and watched over. You know, we have the king of the world, the king of the earth, the king of the heavens. We have the almighty king as our father. So how much more do we not need to worry um, not need to be anxious um, because of our identity and his identity. So in conclusion, I just want to talk to those that are struggling with anxiety, depression, fear, worry, um, any of those things, just to remind you that that is not your identity, first off, that is not who you are, that does not encompass um, you. You are much more than that. That's not even meant to be a part of who you are. God has a new identity for you. And I just encourage you just to come to God and say, God, um, show me who I am in you. Show me um, my identity in you, that this anxiety and this fear and this worry is not who you've created or designed me to be. And I surrender it to you. I give it to you completely. I ask that you replace it. You always wanna, you know, it's good to ask God to replace whatever you're giving up. So we say, replace it with your peace that pass off all understanding. We also, I've been praying for joy, that he would give me joy, because fear can bring a lot of, um, you know, sadness and depression, because you're just so fearful. It just keeps you from doing things, and it just, you miss out on the joy that comes from the Lord. So I asked him to give me joy in the place of fear and worry and anxiety. So I encourage you guys to do the same thing. And I encourage you to stand on the promises that God gives us. You know, the he did not give us a spirit of fear. Write these things down. Look at them daily. Say them out loud to yourself. Um, you know, Christ said his burden is easy and light. If things are feeling heavy and difficult, go to the Lord and say, God, what have I taken on that isn't something that you're asking me to do or something that you're asking me to take on? How, what are my thoughts that I'm thinking that are making this heavy and making this burdensome. What thoughts do I need to surrender and change? A lot of it is in our mind and our thoughts and our words and our actions too. Are my actions saying that I trust you even in the midst of um, my feelings or fear or you know things going on? So that's my thought for you guys today is um, you know not to not to worry. <laughs> Um, you know, to really go to God with any worries or fears or anxieties that you have. And um, if you have a similar story as me where you've um, had some depression and um, you're dealing with medications or anxiety or different things like that, um, feel free to leave a comment or um, a lot of you know me in real life, uh, reach out to me and let's, let's talk about it. Let's be friends and encourage each other about it. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for today. Um, I'm Crystal Kime. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. I gotta go inside now and get out of my truck and driveway. All right, bye guys. Bye.